Hi friends, um, uh, my name is Varanjit and uh, I'm here to talk about um, what happens when you get hyperthyroid. I got hyperthyroid, uh, that, that's the bad news. Anyone can get hyperthyroid. It doesn't matter what's your, uh, um, either you're a male or female, you're a kid or you're an old person, you're a young guy or whatever. It does not matter. It can happen to you, anyone around us. Um, it's not deadly, but it certainly creates a lot of trouble in your life. It happened to me, and um, the better part is that the cure exists. I cured myself. I'm not taking any medicine from last nine years. I know it took a long time for me to make a video. It's my first video. I'm making it. The reason is that I do not want another like people like me who are suffering with uh, some kind of endocrine related issues uh, so so this this thought of making a video came into my mind that i should share my experience um well when i say experience um, um, it was not very good but um, i certainly uh, tell you what exactly happened to me um, i'll try to be you know kind of generous with the dates uh, I don't remember it could be one or two weeks had because whatever happened was it happened in 2005 to 2006 and 2007 and 2008 three years basically and then I stopped taking any medicine uh, so so since uh, like 2009 I'm, I'm completely on no medicine from last 10 years by now and everything is good I get myself tested um, uh, for um, uh, TSH, T3, uh, free T4 um, hormones um, almost every six months. And my doctor says that you're good. Clinically, um, I am the subject which is which has cured it. I mean, uh, so so what happened was when um, when this this I, I won't go into that Greek terminology that your doctor tells you your endocrinologist. Yeah, I know it. I'll keep it for the end. Believe me, I know it. Yeah. So, uh, so what happened was, as as a person, what did you experience? I can talk about you know, uh, brain hypothalamus, pituitary gland, and then uh, TSH um, uh, hormone. This is um, uh, kind of um, um, the hormones which are pushing our um, uh, thyroid to to work more. So all that things, I'll, I'll not go too much into technicality because that actually kills the topic. That's not the game, I would say. Yeah, when I cured it, I didn't know what is TSH and why it's, um, it's coming from the brain to tell some component in somewhere here, which is like a butterfly um, and telling me um, that, okay, uh, Swarnajit, you should work double the capacity. Tomorrow morning, your heart will, heart will be beating at 135 beats per minute. No, I didn't know that this is, there is something in the mind which is telling here and here body is running, uh, kind of put on the running mode, fight and flight mode uh, from here. So anyway, somewhere in, uh, in, in January 2005, I was um, coming back from uh, um, a journey from uh, East India. I was staying back in Delhi at that time. Things were not going very good, but anyway, I was uh, visiting my friend. Um, during that time, um, my friend was in ISKCON, International Society for Krishna Consciousness. So I also visited him. Um, my employment, my life was not running very good at that time. So I was, there were some depressions and uh, um, a lot of troubles. Yeah, everyone goes through this, so I'm not an exception. So when I was coming back, I started feeling the swelling on the upper part of my eyes. That was the first indicator in a way. I ignored it completely. I thought this is because of fatigue. I've been traveling a lot. So it's probably some something goes that comes and it will go within one or two days. It, it was almost, I thought that this is uh, the same thing that um, that happens when we don't sleep for two three days, which was the case in, with with me. And uh, prior to that, there was another thing that happened, which I completely 
almost 15 days ago when I was still there, I had a lot of stomach pains. I could not understand it. It was still going on. Something was not, not right at my stomach. I, I knew something's not right. I thought that that probably uh, my my chakra, which is, I know it's, um, most people don't know about it, but uh, we have a central part in our um, stomach that get, get upset. It's more hardware problem. It's not because you get some bacterial or uh, some other um, infection or maybe viral infection. Because of that, you have to um, go to toilet a lot of times. It happened to me. Yes. Um, I ignored that too. Unfortunately, that just happened to the size swelling 15, 20 days back. And even prior to that, I know there is a certain reason that I'm going from eye swelling to back. Yeah. Somewhere in September, I'm talk eye swelling happened in first or second week of January of 2006. Um, this uh, uh, then somewhere in uh, I remember October or September, uh, my feet they started um, having a lot of perspiration. That never happened to me in my life. I think that is the first stage I should have gone to my endocrinologist. Believe me, that is the first point. I suffered a lot. I don't want people to suffer. If that is the kind of thing, you should go definitely to your endocrinologist. You may have hyperthyroid issue. You may have some kidney problem or some other thing. I won't throw the that Latin names to anyone. I have written like on the side. I know them. I have gone through a lot. So, so what happens is um, I ignore that the swelling, the perspiration, uh, the stomach pains. And uh, even I have ignored uh, some other signs like tremor in my hands. My my hands used to shake like, shake like this, like, you know, kind of uh, lots lots of shaking like this, kind of. Not exactly that way, <laughs> but yeah, they used to shake. Um, then I suffered almost uh, one and a half month. Swelling appeared. It was increasing a little bit. I was in Delhi, away from my parents. I was like 25 at that. That is the age when you are more of a rebellion sort, uh, sort guy. You want to fight with everything. You wanted to achieve something in your life. Forgetting that time is just killing every damn physical uh, entity in the universe. Including sun, moon, earth, galaxies, whatever. Anyway, I did not get that. These things were a bit you know, far away. I wanted to achieve something in my life. There was a depression, tension, education, loans, career, a lot of things. But I was too much screwed up. I was not able to sleep during the night. I, I lost my sleep somewhere in the mid-January. My eyes swelling a lot. I was not able to sleep. So the reason is, eyes got dry. My eyes were open always like this. Every time. This much. With this much exposure, it was tough to um, kind of sleep. I was in uh, in tough trouble. I didn't know did not know what is happening in my body. What should I do? Uh, I cannot express that feeling. I still um, go into the fear when I when I think about that. It's not a certainly a good feeling for me. Anyway, I went uh, went back to uh, my parent. I am I. I thought that I still had that stomach issue. I lost roughly uh, 10 kg weight during that time. Yeah. So remember, sweating in the feet. I ignored that. Stomach pains kind of regularly ignored that. Swelling in the eye, tremor in the hand. I lost roughly 12 kg. I ignored that. I was still not going to the doctor. I was going back to my parents somewhere in uh, um, end of January. I was visiting there, I spoke to the doctor, they saw there's probably physical issues and your chakras may not be good, something like that. I was checking it. Then then uh, certainly this guy said that physically it looks okay. There's some another issue. So I went back, back to New Delhi. So my parent uh, said that there are good doctors, just just go to someone. I, I remember one of my friend, his name is Mr. Sikandar. Um, he was from uh, um, uh, UP. Uh, somewhere from Lucknow. Uh, so Panditji came with me. 
uh, so this guy was very good nice guy he said Swarnjit come come with me he I was still afraid to go to the doctor immediately when I turned back he looked into my eyes he knew that something is dying with his friend so he said okay come on come with me there is one um, uh, free hospital uh, it's called Guru Nanak hospital near uh, income tax officer um, place uh, in New Delhi uh, ITU place this is called so I went there see like you see in the developing um, nations there are lots of people in the line so I, I was also standing in the line a uh, bit uh, tired it was morning the doctors that the, that came they just uh, they don't work for money they come they see the people they just go they, they don't say okay first give hundred dollar at the counter do you have the health card okay what's your name show your identifications there is no rigor like that you just come uh, go to the counter tell your name they don't check your ID card I like that point good and bad both yeah so they they just I probably like uh, they told me if you, I, I can uh, like you know uh, give like 10 cents something like that I give my whatever 10 cents I gone to the line uh, doctor was standing the people pretty fast I thought that the doctor is not a good person she's just you know rushing I was in my own thinking but when my turn came very surprisingly I tell you what happens man uh, I was at the gate there was another guy inside when I was standing uh, there on the gates doctor looked at me she looked at the person whatever wrote quickly she didn't tell me to sit down on the bench uh, what happened to you she did not ask these questions she just asked simply she looked at me with a weird look like you know up then she said okay uh, she has straightened your hand I was I straightened my hand like this and my hand was shaking like that something like that like really weird I, I think my hand looked weird uh, even now <laughs> so my hand was shaking and uh, the doctor told me two things why either you have problem in kidneys or you have got overactive hyperthyroid and both of these are not treated here she written something on the paper she gave me the paper told me you go to either the government hospital or you go to the private hospital this guy will attend you yeah that happened to me so I took that receipt I went back um, uh, to another hospital um, they told me to then it was like you know in the test it came my TSH levels 3T3 and 3T4s they were there was our nimble jimble whatever uh, not correct they were not uh, not good so here the problem was even getting aggravated I will tell you in the next video what happened to me important is not uh, like how it, not the journey is like journey is very important not like how I treated it I'll tell you in the next video what happened to me which lead me to the cure of hyperthyroidism I will post this video soon thank you thank you for watching namaste and uh, good evening